It is Quilt Week in Paducah, Kentucky, and I'm standing in front of the National Quilt Museum, and I'm a local Paducah, Kentucky resident, born and raised here, and so I'm gonna show you what really goes on in downtown Paducah when it is Quilt Week. So Paducah is nicknamed Quilt City USA, and for very good reason. The American Quilter Society was actually founded in Paducah, Kentucky, the founders live in Paducah, Kentucky. They're actually my neighbors. They have created a legacy here for women who quilt or men who quilt. This is just the destination, the place to be for over 35 years for the American Quilter Society annual quilt show and convention. The American Quilter Society hosted their first quilt show in Paducah, Kentucky in 1985. And the little town of Paducah, Kentucky really is known for quilting. We have the National Quilt Museum. There are quilt stores and quilt shops and sew shops and fabric stores, supply shops and sewing equipment shops all over the town of Paducah. But downtown Paducah is really where most of the happening stuff is happening. And that's where I'm standing right now in front of the National Quilt Museum. And if you can take a look at what's happening around me, you'll notice that Paducah really does put out all the stops for quilt week we put our best foot forward we put on our biggest smile the city of paducah has a trolley system then it runs all over the quilting area so that quilters can get on the trolley there are maps and it will drop them off all over paducah so that they don't have to drive when you're in paducah during quilt week you will see literally a zillion charter buses quilters come in from all over the united states all over the world to spend a couple days in Quilt City, USA. And a lot of things are walkable. I'm gonna walk you around downtown Paducah in this video and kind of show you all the sites. We're gonna go from the Quilt Museum to the Quilt Convention to Hancock's Fabrics to downtown Paducah and kind of take a look at the restaurants and the shops and show you everything that Paducah has to offer. So Quilt Week is always held mid to late April in Paducah and you never know what the weather's going to be. Yesterday it was cold and pouring down rain. Today the sun is out but it's a little chilly so I'm wearing a jacket and tomorrow it could be sunny and so hot. You just never know. The Quilt Museum is actually the closest of the biggest venues to downtown Paducah where all of the restaurants and shops are locally owned. There's plenty, oh my goodness, plenty of quilting stores, antique stores, places to eat, things to do. There are hotels within walking distance of the Quilt Museum and just so much to see. So we're gonna do a little stroll around the streets of downtown Paducah and uh, see what we come across. I miss it too. You doing good? I'm doing good. That's what I'm doing. I'm filming for YouTube. I'm getting you on here in my Quilt Week video. I will, yes. Hey. <laughs> of course, in downtown Paducah is the Yazer Art Center and the famous Red Yak. And during Quilt Week, the Yak wears a quilt.
So I'm at what is called the foot of Broadway. You can see cars disappearing between the flood wall gates right here. And this is where the Ohio River meets the Tennessee River right here in Paducah. And this is our famous flood wall. And a fun fact is my mother is in a mural on the flood wall. So if you want to see a full video where I walked around downtown Paducah in the summertime and showed you all of the murals and took you down behind the flood wall and showed you the river, I will link that video in the description box below. A couple fun facts about living in Paducah during quilt week. Quilters are a pretty tame crowd, right? Local Paducah folks are certainly not complaining about having all the quilters in town for quilt week. They don't cause a ruckus. They don't dirty up our city. They're very polite, very considerate, and it really is an economic boom for Paducah. But Paducah has lots of crazy one-way streets. And sometimes I even get confused. And I've lived here for over 50 years. And we have a new intersection off of the interstate. We call it the Black Diamond. And it is so crazy confusing. So there are lots of wrecks in Paducah during Cool Week. Lots of people driving the wrong way up the one-way street. And you'll see the locals who go, hey, 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 you know, you're doing it wrong. And that's fine. We've come to expect it. We know it's going to happen. People who live here are just on alert, very diligent about paying attention to the out-of-town drivers because we can tell exactly who they are. So now we ventured around downtown and we're going to head to the convention center where the quilt show and convention actually takes place. And then I'm going to take you to one of the most popular, largest fabric stores for quilters in the United States. And it is called Hancock Fabrics. So we do have a hotel right next to the convention center. It is the Holiday Inn Riverfront, and it's fairly new. It's been here, I don't know, maybe six or seven years. And if you notice, I was talking about the weather. I had to take my jacket off. I am now sweating. It is about 70 degrees. It's mid-afternoon in Paducah, but the sun is out. There's a little bit of clouds, and it's a beautiful day. So another fun fact about Paducah, Kentucky. You saw when I was walking up this little red tent and there was a sign up that said Paducah Ambassadors. Anytime there is an event in downtown Paducah, we have river boats that come in, we have the quilt show, any big event whatsoever, you will see a very large number of men and women wearing red blazers. Those are Paducah Ambassadors. They are here to guide you, to answer questions, to be the liaison between a visitor and the city of Paducah. They're everywhere. They know everything about Paducah. I think I need to be a Paducah ambassador. How do you get that job? I think it's pretty cool. I want one of those red blazers. So I'm standing out front at the convention center where they have the food trucks and all the food for the people who are attending the quilt show. And if you come to Paducah, of course, you gotta have a cheesecake on a stick, right? Chicken salad and sweet tea. I would love to go inside the Expo Center, but I cannot go in with the video camera. You can buy a ticket. You can buy them online. I think they normally go on sale at around late January, early February, but there are vendors inside. There are craft tables. There are booths selling everything you could ever want related to quilting. And of course, all the quilts are on display for the quilters that have come here to the quilt show. This is where all of the action is. And the quilt show is actually a four day event. It runs from Wednesday to Saturday. Another fun fact, if you come to Paducah for the quilt show, you better plan ahead. You better book your hotel a year in advance. People will rent out bedrooms in their home for the quilters. Hotels and bed and breakfast are booked for up to 100 miles away. So plan ahead, book ahead, that way you know you have a place to stay for Quilt Week. So I'm with Amina, she's a Paducah ambassador, which I said I would love to be a Paducah ambassador. So what did you have to do to get the red coat? Well, first I had to volunteer um, to share my love for Paducah um, mm -hmm. and willing to be an ambassador. You just have to have the care and desire to share your love to Paducah with our visitors that are visiting Paducah. Yeah, so I've been telling everybody in the video how much I love Paducah. You have to too, yep. right? Uh, we have is. a great small little town. But now, facts about the quilt show. How many visitors come to Paducah for quilt week? Around 30 to 40,000. It's a lot, 30 <laughs> to 40,000. Countries most represented is Australia, 
Brazil, wow. Japan, um, Canada. Those wow. are the big ones. That's amazing. Who was the winner of this year's big quilt show contest? You know? But I, don't I know, know it's either. beautiful. <laughs> yes. And that was awarded on Wednesday night, right? It was. It okay, was yes. At Walker Hall. Do you have any other fun facts about Quilt Week and Paducah that you could share? Um, fun fact Quilt Week isn't just for visitors. Quilt Week can also be for locals like us to come yes. down here and partake um, in all the festivities. Um, everyone, all the visitors have been so nice, especially all our local business owners. Everyone downtown has been so incredibly welcoming and friendly to everyone. So it's not just a time to stay away from downtown just because we have visitors. It's the time to unite and do things more as a community and partake in the things that is expanding and helping Paducah in its development. Well said. Yeah. See ya. Thank See ya. Come down next year in 2024. Yes, and I want one of those red jackets. Seriously, <laughs> okay. yes. So here we are at Hancock Fabrics, and I got to be honest, I don't know why this place is so popular. I live in Paducah. Yes, if I need fabric or material, I would probably come here, but quilters flock here. They literally flock here. They come here from all over the world. So why don't we just head up to the front door and see if we can find out what the fuss is about. So this is Diane and I caught her coming out of Hancock's <laughs> with a bag full of things and she said this was a really bad idea. I spent way too much money. So I wanted to ask her what is the fuss? What is it about Hancock's that everybody like look at this parking lot. Well um, they have all the designer lines of fabric in, oh. in cottons, mo okay. particularly for quilters. Yes. So it's cotton yardage, ah. organized by the designers, by all the designers, with the full line. So specialty stuff that you can't stuff, get. Well, like, some, some we can get, yeah. but smaller quilt stores can only buy select amounts of a line oh. because of the capital expenditure for them to stock. So okay. to come here and get everything all in one place. Um, that's the draw. Yeah, that's the draw. Okay. That's the draw. Now, everybody in Paducah will know what yeah. the heck is oh, that's, <laughs> the draw to Hancock. <laughs> you know, I, I'm from Ohio. There's a whole bunch of quilters there. And they, yeah. And they all go online for Hancock's they, too. If you come in here to buy fabric, not Quilt Week, all the women have quilt squares and they're packaging up, packaging mm -hmm. them to ship them off. And everybody yeah. is like, what, what is going on? Yeah. Okay, well, thank yeah. you for that. You're welcome. So now we know what the fuss is about. But it is like 3.30 in the afternoon, and I'm heading up to the front door, Hancock's. Well, let me just show you what is going on up here. Goodness gracious, oh me, and oh my, is all I have to say. This is the buzz inside of Hancock Fabrics. Another fun fact about Quilt Week. Groups of women who come to Quilt Week together love to dress alike. And this is one of my most favorite things about seeing all the quilters in Paducah. Women will create the same shirt. They'll have vests. Some women will wear hats. I ran into a group of ladies that had quilted hearts all pinned on their shirts with their names on it. I have seen so many cute and crazy things over the years in Paducah. The women look at Quilt Week as a party. It's a girls weekend. It's a time to get together. They celebrate quilting and they shout it to the world that they love it. And I think it is so fantastic that they want to dress alike and just be their little group and do all the things of Quilt Week. I absolutely adore that part of Quilt Week. So that's my wrap up of Quilt Week in Paducah, Kentucky. Local Paducah folks are always so excited for Quilt Week. We love the visitors. We love to welcome you here and we love to show off our great little city. And we hope to see you next year at Quilt Week. See you later.